All the people in America hear me. <laughs> eh? American people are the one. We, we don't need your help. They, help. they need our help. Eh? You see me? I have pride when talking. It's because God, if he tells me what to tell you, I'll say that I lie. American people have nothing to offer me. I have what to offer them. You know why? There's something coming. Can I tell you? The gun crime will not be this regular. But it will be what? Maximum. <laughs> it's not going to be regular. But it has shifted. It's going to be what? Maximum. A massive killing in America. I say, God, you see, now you show me. He say, let me show you. I've seen it four times. So I have to come out to say, the remaining one, you wait for me to come live tomorrow. I'm not coming live again today. Let me rest. You see, the remaining one, come tomorrow. America, be careful. If you are living in America, make sure your door is always locked. Make sure your door is always locked make sure if you go back home and you are driving listen no oh, listen listen if i tell you listen listen make sure if you are driving to the house do not god bless you chi boy street boy sent 24 dollars in america thank you thank you thank you thank you through you too if you are driving to your house if you park eh make sure you quickly stand up and go straight into your house the moment you enter your house quickly lock the door quickly what lock the door the most dangerous things is about to happen in america i will give you details of two and not give you details of one you know why that last one must come to pass <laughs> so that they will say prophecy confirmation you must learn your lesson i hear someone say the first one the killing will not be like you offended me the killing will be like you are black that's why i came to kill you because you are black and the reason why the same another black man will kill another black it is because you are progressing too much so it's no more going to be a confrontation sorry confrontation someone confront confronting you for someone to confront you i mean to say so if you park your car get out from the car get inside because there are situations i'm seeing where a man a woman park somebody just bought gun and decide to test it you just read where it april and the person just go to your car and do pee, 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 pee. not with a loud gun with a sniper you say sniper silencer they just tied that's how they was testing how to shoot mark it so we be with the revo revolver they just want to shoot because they have gone the most lawful country called america will be lawless <laughs> that's how god is shaking them bringing them to their their knees america will be so shaking everybody will come out to the street and need that and say god help us democrats will not help you democrat will not help you because i think and i believe as god has showed me three times that say democrat will continue as the president of america they will not help you you're killing so if god really wants trump to win killing will reduce but disaster will come if you say democrat we win the killing will be so high so america will begin to reduce in number now if they say it's only poor people they will kill is a lie they will kill rich people too they will keep police they will, i'm telling you they will keep police you see police just park they just go there shoot at police the police will get scared of driving out they will always want to hang in their offices so if you call them they'll start acting like nigeria what kind of gun are they using 911 <laughs> everywhere problem deal so if you are in america close your car door quickly go inside and continue your phone call 
If you have a side chick, God will help you. Communicate with her while driving. But the moment you stop at your door, quickly come out, go inside. Live consciously. Don't live confidentially. Live consciously that all time you are looking around. In America, they will shoot people inside the car. While you're, you're inside, you're not locking door, they will open it. They will or they jam it. So make sure your doors are locked. Because stealing is coming to America. Stealing is coming, stealing, robbery, armed robbery. And if you are not careful, the greatest security in America will be broken. If we are not careful, I'm not saying it must happen, but if they are not careful, the greatest and the most protected prison will be broken then the most dangerous people will be seen, but will not be caught. They only catch the innocent ones that they lied against, but the real people who are the criminals will live. They won't see them again. Are you understand me? So pray for America. So with all these challenges that will come so high, and a leader will now come, and bans gone in the country. So, the last part of it is that they will ban um, guns in America. So if you used to have a licensed gun, they'll say, please bring all the guns in America, bring them. Can we pay them for bringing back their guns? Let's see how we can appreciate them, but bring back all your guns. Either license, illegal, bring all your guns now. We must stop guns in America. So that's the American word, but like it. So American people, before the election, find house where you stay in Africa. If you have shop in America, sorry is your name. Because a lot of shop will be looted. What they do in South Africa, they do it in America. They will loot shop. Eh? And after the election in America, the country will enter into chaos. You see Bayos, you see Kiyo, you see Kabo, you see Waro, you see fire, you will see, yeah, you see fire promas, you see killing promas, <laughs> danger promas, iPhone 29 promas. So pray, pray in America, pray. Before the election, death will be recorded, so many. So if we don't even pray and we are they are doing campaign, there's going to be an explosive bomb. If we do not pray, while the campaign is on, you see massive shooting, you see massive bombing. So the most secured country will be going outside. And soon to come, they will hack American system, banking system, security system, and all the system and shake their amount and move some money out of the account. They will shake the security, they will shake everywhere through hacking into the American system. So how will America be so reluctant? God said, I am behind the scene. Hmm? He's what? He's behind the scene. So let us pray so seriously for the United States of America. You see Russia, I told you that, what is his name? Is he Pluto president? Eh? Why is the president of Russia? He's not back as a president. God would have called that man to kill him since, but God he kept him because of he wants to shake America. Hmm? Putin Putin. So <laughs> America, you pray. Putin will come for you. Putin will come for America, China will come for America. And all the allies, or they call them allies or airline. <laughs> I will not be very serious with my life. Eh? We will joke over each other that the people do we see it as a joke. And when it happens, they say chai. <laughs> Every prophecy I laugh over comes to pass quick. So then you see they say chai. They will bridge into the American securities. That's one threat of war and America let me tell you the wickedness 
that God will use a finish in America. America is going to test a nuclear what? A nuclear bomb to a nation. I won't call it a nation. But America will send a nuclear bomb just to make sure and to tell the world that they are still advanced. But lie, lie, another nation will stone America. You see it in the news, CNN. Yeah? Um, we got attacked this morning by so 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 and so we got attacked this evening by so so the computers couldn't get it the detective couldn't get it the rockets couldn't catch it and they say and if a rapture being built in america being sold to this country was used to hit america so what is this could this be the 9 11 in different fashion that's what we are going to hear in america so the threat of war is no more a threat. It's going to be a reality. Do you know why? God is behind the change of power. He said, since the day America knows about human rights, I have taken away the power from them. You can never have what we call human rights when it comes to gender. A man cannot be equal with a woman. So he says, since you know about human rights more than me who created you, I have taken power away from you. So the power is moving to china assisted by russia <laughs> and being coordinated by india and be threatened so america will be shaken where a lot of military men will start resigning because of disobedience of their so-called president so you people will pray a feminist shouldn't rule you if not your nation will be in mess. The dollar is falling in a few months' time to come. So that's all I have to say. And I will say, God, God bless you. God, God bless you. So support the ATP Foundation. And lastly, before I go, I will call the account number again. I still have about 120 new prophecies for the second quarter of this year. So you're going to catch me at any time you want to. Uh, so the account number is 0077 534 018. 0077 534 018. Access Bank, Nigeria. You can pay through OP. No, I don't have OP. You can pay through uh, Promas. What am I saying, Abel? You can pay through uh, Word Remit and all those applications. You can pay through them. Because soon enough, America is going to bring what we call churches, Church of the Devil. You're going to see the branches in California. You're going to see them like 20 in California. You go to New York, you will see them a hundredfold. Oh, the Illuminati is not going to be hidden. Now people are going to come out and say, yo, since you, you're, all you're talking about Illuminati, I came out here right now and crossing my legs and saying, I'm one member. That's what you're going to hear. Are you going to understand what I'm saying? So that's it. And that leads me to number two. There is a great artist or actor in the United States of America who is finding it so difficult. This person is finding it so difficult, very, very difficult to talk about his belief in gay or no gay. But very soon, you will see him. Could be this year, next year, am I alive or when I'm dead, it's okay. But you're going to see that man come out to declare his sexual stand. And he's going to tell you, I'm a gay. So he's an actor, an American actor, who is suffering from that part. But he's going to come out to tell everybody and say that I'm a gay. Who could that be? I know him, but I will not mention his name. It's an open declaration that he is a gay. So you're going to have a different view of how he is a gay. So the next part is a Nigerian. A Nigerian actor is going, is going to come out and say he is dating even while he's married. Yeah, he's dating. So his wife is saying, my husband is cheating. But she does not know he is cheating with a man that he is a gay so he might be caught or he might come out to say his belief so we are going to watch all those things please when they come out do not judge them rather pray for them is the most important thing pray for them don't judge them 
in Nigeria. And I go to a lady in Ghana. There are two in Nigeria. I spoke about a, an actor. That's not just an actor. American, an actor, which is one. In Nigeria, is going to be an actor who is cheating on his wife with his fellow man. And in Nigeria, we're also going to find a female who is a lesbian who also uses artificial stuff to penetrate themselves. So we are going to watch everything happen either this year or the earlier of next year. So you will see a woman who is sexually addicted but with a rubber stick and a lesbian. So this lesbianism is increasing and people who are selling the toy stuff will be having more sales in 2024 and beyond so you're gonna if you are doing a business of selling all this plastic stain that you use in putting satisfying yourself a lot of people are coming into that lifestyle this year yeah they're gonna come oh I don't have any boys time I don't care if they exist it is because they have toys that they are satisfying themselves with so the Lord is saying he's gonna expose few of them that is going to come and they will come at plenty these females to tell you that this is what they believe and this is who they are are you understanding so that is it that's one now south africa two actors who are very popular are going to come out and declare their gay relationship with each other and including a certain female are you understanding what i'm saying how they are gays so i spoke about nigeria south africa ghana yeah, we're going to also hear in Kenya, a gay entertainer is going to come and talk about how he and her have also been engaging in different sexual activities and all that. So we have to pray very seriously concerning this thing. It's going to be so serious, very serious. And a well-known chorister in Nigeria, a well-known chorister, a very beautiful voice everybody know in Nigeria will come out and disappoint the church what would she say she said i love female i do female despite i'm married but i'm attracted more to female it's going to be a shaking thing she's going to say yeah it's going to be on a national show or a tv show she's going to make declaration that's what the lord is talking about that part so we have to be very very careful and in this 2024 the ending of this 2024 this is women please listen to these ladies a lot of gay people that they are coming to get or catching we marry this year so a lot of relationship will work this year in terms of wedding because gay will start getting married i'm not talking about nigeria only i'm not talking about africa only i'm talking about the world so now gay will function now gay men will marry women gay men will marry women just to give birth to a son then they will have their own personal sexual activities with a fellow man so they will marry a woman just to hide their sexual drive their sexual urge for their fellow men so the woman can stay with them why the woman they will have a roommate who is a man who oh, i don't have money i don't have a rent it is because that's an undercover gay practice so you as a woman when you travel or when you go out they will be having sex together because they are sex mates as gay so they will a lot of gays will marry this year because they want to cover up their activities for those ones so, so ladies be very careful of the man you say yes because a lot of gay marriage are coming they are married to men but they will use the women as it so be very very careful and lastly uh, if i'm not talking bad the men are not going to be enjoying the normal penetration yeah that is what is going to be happening because a lot of people will get their prosperity through the gay action and through the anus penetration sorry to use that word so a lot of men will not be comfortable having sex through the woman vagina as the lord may show me now they would want to have it through your other hole. Ho, ho, ho. How? It looks crazy. The Lord told me. Sex will no longer be well protected by the part of where a man and a woman should clap hands. 
Nebo come down. But this time it's not going to be on the normal spot. It's going to be above the spot. So we're going to have problems this year with a lot of sexual issues. Issues. A lot of sexual issues. That is going to bring some people back to masturbation. That is going to bring some women back to masturbation and toys. So the devil is selling toys. If you have a friend that sells toys, please leave them alone. Let them not initiate you of using toy. Because no matter how sexually your husband could be or can be, you will always prefer to use toy at the ending of your sex. So please, it's increasing here in Africa and it's going to increase more in the Western world. So I think that's done for today. Yeah, we are done for today. But the next one, I think uh, I'm not talking too much. The red eye sickness that the Lord spoke to me about in 2023 is going to America. So America, you're going to have red eye sickness. The red eye is in South Africa, is in Kenya, is in uh, is in Malawi, is in everywhere, is in everywhere, is in everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. It's the the red eye sickness is moving everywhere. So the only thing that can cure the red eye sickness is your urine. <laughs> oh my god it's really serious here yeah. your urine is only what is going to cure it the more you take antibiotic for it the more it will increase and the more it will start transferring to your family so the red eye sickness is transferable to everyone so be very careful it's not pink eye it's red eye it is when it's going they call it pink eye what is pink your eye will be red the only thing that can restore back your sight without affecting because the lord is telling me he's going to bring blindness in this second quarter of with the year we are entering the red eye is coming with blindness to a lot of people so the devil is taking advantage to make it a blindness so every child of god should have a touch of what a touch of anointing oil on their eyes so do not walk out the streets without having anointing oil on the side of your eyes that's what the lord is said he said anoint your eyes children of god living in countries to avoid the red eye sickness is coming with blindness not just red eye so if you think it's not transferable please know it is transferable by looking their eyes always put on eyeglass as the eye person that it's the red eye is affecting put on a dark eyeglass so that you don't transfer it to the next person that's the only way to stay protected and if you want it to go clear your own urine is simple that use your urine and put it in the cup and pour on your eyes your own urine <laughs> no drugs can save you it's your urine that can save you hmm it looks crazy the things of God to heal you are very small things so use your urine for that some people hear it they'll say Jesus Christ which kind of diabolic man of God is this who kind of they don't know anything or they listen in the school of medical people medication they told them because my dad told me they will tell you that you have you the medical the medical world are more powerful doctors are the ones killing the world they know that the traditional medicine is powerful but they will tell you the medical aspect is bad why the godical aspect is evil it's complicated it's a lie their drugs will only complicate things. Why after the red eye is going, we will not have bed flu. But they won't call it bed flu. They will just call it flu. <laughs> so after this red eye, we will experience what they call bed flu. But they will put bed flu. They will just call it flu. This flu is more dangerous. It will affect, is it? respiratory what system 
it will cause more pneumonia flu i wonder what it will cause in this place flu have nothing to do with this place flu we began to damage people kidney flu and they will give you complicated drugs can i tell you what god say can heal with the flu <laughs> eh flu is bitter leave water <laughs> he said i will give you the sickness that is coming i'll tell you what will solve it it's what flu is coming paracetamol will not cure it malaria drugs will not cure it what will cure it is bitter leave water <laughs> it is simple you will not agree you will not agree because why you just that thing you just said looks nonsense Huh? It is bitter leaf that will cure flu. Bitter leaf water is what we wash away that flu. Because the flu is coming as flu. But inside your body, the Lord said, it's going to be like what? Infection. So even antibiotic will cure it. So it's going to be like sugar. Your sugar level will be high. Like flu. In flu. It's making sugar level high. What we cure it is bitter leaf. <laughs> if you like me, you would have gotten to that level where I say things, you don't argue. The only way for them to happen. I know when to happen. So after the red eye, as the red eye is spreading around, it's going to spread around the world. I said it's going to start from a country and move around the world. You are seeing red eye sickness now? Okay. The next one is flu. Or it's going to be the third one. Any of them. It is only bitter leaf water that can help you. The red eye is your urine. You see this eye nonsense. Eye drop. It won't work. Because that time, you will see so many mucus come out from your eye if you are using eye drop. <laughs> but if you use urine, your own urine, or a baby breast milk, you know, a woman is breastfeeding, they now use that milk to put on your eye. If it's not your urine, use a newborn baby. Let them put the milk in a cup. Put it on your eye. Three days, it will clear. <laughs> if you take medicine, you have a problem. Your eye will go blind. But not you in Jesus' name. So for the flu that is coming, take bitter leaf. Wash it twice. Don't go more. Don't, if you are light, the bitter leaf goes off. The healing will not take place. Hmm? Yeah, well, if you see anybody with red eye, wear eye glass quickly. Wear eye glass. <laughs> Don't look at them eyeball to eyeball. Wear eye glass. It's in Malawi. It's going to move to countries Botswana, all the whole Southern Africa, West Africa, North Africa. Be careful. I I didn't say it today. I said it before it came. So be very careful. All this prophecy they are telling you Nigeria is going to be like this, Nigeria. Hey, God said, I shall keep the country in safe hand. There's nothing will happen in this country. It will be in safe hand. That's what I hear. It will be what? It's just that in the next few months, Chinibu will be going for medical checkup. And he will stay for three months, four months. Everybody will ask where is the president. Shetimu will continue as the president. So there's nothing to fear. He's not dying now. He's coming back. So there is nothing like a, we saw the man in stretcher. He's going to, hey, my friend, he's going for medical check. They will change his blood, give him new blood. He'll come back more stronger and he'll be doing like this. He said, Nigeria, <laughs> eh, I'm alive. So be careful. Keep insulting your presidents, your nation will keep going down. Keep insulting your pastors, the nation will go down. Keep insulting the things of God, Nigeria will fall. But if you keep exalting the things of God, Stop looking for fault. There's fault everywhere. Nigeria will stand. The president is not the one that changes the nation. It is you and I that changes the nation. I hear what I'm saying. The president gave 200 billion to the people to share. The thief, at that level, they will not take 100 billion and give you. Then the local, the governor will not take 50 billion and give local government chairman. Government, local government chairman will not take 25 billion and give the council. Council will not take 10 billion and give to your senior brothers. Your senior brother now take 8 billion and give to the small, small children. How will the nation not be better?
Is he the president? He's not the president. It is you and I. Does the country, the president say we should do fraud? So why are you on fraud? Why are you doing yahoo yahoo? How would the country be good? Eh? Why are you going about causing users, causing separation between husband and wife? How would the country be good? The Tinibu told you to go there and cause that problem? You come on social media, you insult pastors, you call them thief, you call them all sorts of names, and you don't know. The Bible said, leave the servant for another man's servant. Do not judge them, for ye shall be judged. You say, no, let's judge the pastor. I am so righteous and holy, so let's judge them. You have no power. Your seed is your life. Your righteousness is as filthy as rag. So continue your seek. Huh? I hear someone say, so if he say the president will die. So if he dies, Shetima becomes your president in Nigeria. You think if uh, Tinubu dies, you think he will not bring you president? Lie, lie. If Shetima becomes the president, no west, no southwest, no south south, no south east will be the president ever. Go and write it. <laughs> so if you are saying that him be, it has gone back to as it goes back to the northern part. Eh? You know, God told you that it's, it's going to end for that reason through Tinubu Stena. Now you saw. Wiki and the present governor of River State is having problems because of the same fatherism. <laughs> you see, Tinibu is also having problems with the youth, with the people, because of the same word, fatherism. So God said, I will close the chapter of fatherism in Nigeria. <laughs> but the youth are not ready to come to take over because why? They talk too much. <laughs> youth in Nigeria, you talk too much. You condemn too much. You judge too much. So if you become the president, you will kill people. He said, who is that to judge me? Bring him to book. So God said, leave the youth. <laughs> so if you think it's not the will of God, it's the will of God for old people to rule you. Because the rules cannot be carried by the youth. Our Nigerian youth have no standard. We don't believe in our standard. We don't believe in our culture. We don't believe in our tradition. So they can't be the leaders because they will use it as an audacity to kill enemies that got them wrong when they were two years old. So it is not for the youth. So continue insulting pastors, <laughs> your country is falling. Insult elders, your country is falling. You too, you are suffering. Eh? Continue insulting men, you are going to stay single. So anything you are insulting is what is going to be stagnant for you. So continue. Eh? Just continue and pray for your life. Glory to God. I'm even talking some, some God is just showing me some acidity in the book. So let's pray. Eh? There's going to be judgment in Nigeria. Massive. A lot of youth will die. Yo. A lot of youth will die. I'm not talking about other countries. I'm talking in Nigeria. You will just see a lot of parents burying youth. I see parents burying children, burying youth. Because putting their mouth where their heart does not get to, I see killing. In Nigeria, I saw youth being reduced by death. Your elders that you are insulting will live longer than you. Remove your mouth from what you do not have revelation about. I saw youth dying thousands of number by the middle of this year and by the last quarter of this year. Nigeria youth, let the old people stay in peace. Stop insulting them. You won't grow to their age. And in 2000 and 2027, APC will continue as the president. <laughs> so that there is nothing you and your pastor can do. You must learn the hard way. There's, if you like, pray. God is bringing the church to its knees. So one pastor say, the president is a thief. The president won by corruption. Yeah, that's God say go and preach gospel, not politics. So you to these days, God will help you. Are you understanding what I'm saying? If you keep insulting your elders, your prophets, they didn't see this revelation though. <laughs> they are only telling you nonsense, nonsense talk. You are going to have job. Amen. But you are insulting the old man who have job before you. How can you have job? Keep your ears clear. If you like, you hear.
if you like you insult me the more you are insulting me the more god is opening my eye food too <laughs> eh? what there is going to be an accusation against our father in faith Omar Bai. there's going to be a greatest eh, scandal they're going to speak against Ademoye before God calls him home <laughs> there's going to be another scandal of Oyedepo the devil is the one bringing this scandal so that the youth will insult them these are the words that will make the youth reduce in Nigeria go and write it now check I saw Apostle Suleiman. Please don't judge me. He said, Why is he talking about Apostle Suleiman? Not because I love him. That man is after God's heart. <laughs> well, everybody condemn him, but he's a man after God's heart. The man you judge is the one God loves. So God will listen to you and kill him. Lie, lie. He'll be the one to bury you. I saw Apostle Suleiman. He was just standing. All the people who accused him. Oh. <laughs> All the people who accused him were suffering. So accusation of many years ago, the devil brought it back and said, God, this is what they did. God, the devil is looking for what to send to God. He said, Job, this man is so perfect. Alpha, let me test him in this area. God said, go ahead. It is still working till tomorrow. Apostle Suleiman sat down in a cram because when all these fathers go, no matter the accusation, he's still a father. He's going to be a father of the nation in the prophetic <laughs> and in the fatherhood. He has labored for it, so God has given it to him. He said, the cousin, they accuse him. You that is pointing finger against him, are you a virgin? It's only a virgin that have the right to judge to judge people like me and you. I have never been a virgin, no. I don't know how to be a virgin, looks like. <laughs> I hope you didn't hear that part. Hmm? You didn't hear that part. I've never. You say, I used to be a virgin. Ta, I was never a virgin. <laughs> so you, who is a virgin? You don't, you are the only one who have right to talk. If you're not a virgin, shh. Do it. Shh. It's because they've not caught you. Nobody. The only virgin now that we have is the one that, that they just born you. It's one of that newborn baby, three months old. If the baby self is five years, be checking. Wicked people. You sat down. You that is Obo. Obo Marin. Malinga Lingara. Sirakili. You don't share. Hey. That's the slang so. Obo Marin. Marina. Oh boy, now she be the Saint Marine for streets now. He didn't whine. Everybody has collected national cake. You will not stay. I said, this men will die. Oh, this men of I God will punish them. They don't catch me, they not. I shall the judge person. It's only, it only happens in Africa. I shall the judge person. It's only happening in Africa. I shall and only in Africa, I shower the judge person. Even I shower the judge virgin. Now, lack of opportunity. Now, you know, get. You say, be virgin. What do you virgin don't give you? Now, I shower the judge. Nigeria, now, so do. Nigeria is a shower country. We are judging people God chose. That God called them, they are righteous before Him. You judge them. When I never see so far. Now, now this one, I pro iPhone 5, iPhone 16 don't come. Nana Pro. <laughs> Pro Mashege Banza is coming. I think I told you people about hunger. <laughs> I told you I said the ending of February is pro. Then when we enter March, Pro Mass. <laughs> when will I enter April? Pro Mass 512 gig. <laughs> when will I enter May? And I become one terabyte. <laughs> you buy cucumber today tomorrow you don't spoil you will not do like this all of you will need that and ask god for mercy i told you give first fruit he said that's right that i didn't have to teach it you listen to it you will eat your first fruit this second quarter we are entering and the third you see people lose their job 
That is what the bank wants to do. They will now call it computer internet. They now how that how did God show me? AI banking. <laughs> Nigerian banks will now go into AI. Write it. You have not heard it from anywhere. Eh? We will now have what to call AI banking. So AI will take care of your Access Bank, First Bank, GTB Bank, Zenith Bank, AB Bank, Balo Bank, Kuta Bank, Uruli Bank, Uruli. The only bank that we don't refuse, the only bank that we refuse to use AI is OP. <laughs> and money point. The rest bank will go into what? AI banking. And when they go into AI banking, they hand work, they never sack people. They sack. <laughs> you will learn the hard way. They will sack. It's only in Nigeria or in America, AI banking will keep people out of job. <laughs> you bank with AI. AI will talk, to, will talk with you. <laughs> eh? AI. That time, if you are using toy food, you cannot access your bank. Because at that time, the bank, the AI will look at your face. They say, are you sure? You're not without stress. They say, yes. He say, can you smile for me? You will smile. It will not reflect you on how you open the bank account. <laughs> the beers you keep is the same beers you will keep if you want to maintain your account. <laughs> I said, when God showed me this revelation, I said, where? He said, technology at its own risk. Technology at its own risk. So if you save beer, beer when you, you now you gave your life to Christ, and you want to update AI will not accept the one you reduce. AI will say, keep the same bia bia you came with. <laughs> the same smile with the bia bia. AI. So before you shave, you will apply that you are shaving. <laughs> it will happen in America, the Western world. So when you come together, AI will not be running the business and everybody will lose their job. Everyone will lose their job. AI banking is coming. You think AI was a good news? Is this AI? AI is good. Technology at its own risk. That's the prophecy. <laughs> As I'm laughing now, it doesn't look serious. Uh, when it happened, he said, Bonamina, he said, Mama de Bolo. Not be your bank account with this. Not him now. They said, be me. They said, you don't go fat. Hey, as you fat, nine cause nine. <laughs> you will keep the same shape. If you are a member, they will not bring another technology for upgrade. And that one, you must put the chip on your hand. That's why I call it technology at its own risk. You will not put it in your hand. Hmm? They put that chips inside your hand. If you are upgrading, you'll be upgrading it. So when you're a member of that company, you will not know it's the Illuminati, you will not know it's the successes. Then when it upgrades, you cannot snap new new picture, do the same. So it will be updating with the AI. Listen, when God showed me, I was so shocked. The AI will be working with that chip, which the, the machine. Now, however you are looking, you are taking picture, it is upgrading the AI in your latest version. So after you finish in that version, you don't upgrade it, you cannot use your bank because they will say you are not the one because of they want to end scam. So that is why it's called technology at its own risk. The chip will be here or anywhere. As you are snapping, the chip is giving the record. So the chip does not have any connection with what you are snapping, but your phone will be sending signal to the chip that will be upgrading your AI banking system. And if you're under stress, you can't transfer money because the chip will let the bank know that you are under pressure trying to withdraw money, so they will block it. <laughs> Technology at its own risk 2024 so get okay, more problems are coming you think they are solving american people are not solving problems they are bringing problems how come ai wants to help us does ai bring food for people what does ai does ai helps nobody they should only keep it with story rights to type to talk 
including the robot, you are happy that robot is going to take over. The robot will fight us. A programming system will go by error. So I pity African people who will now say, let's buy robot. Leave the AI robot for white man culture. Leave them. They don't, that's their technology. Leave them. Don't buy it and come here. You cannot fix it. Because the, the robot God said they are buying does not have device to change. The Lord said, he showed me a device that is like block. When I was in school, there's what they call a eh, transistor. Transistor can have up to 500 teeth. One, two, three, four, five, six, to 200. It comes inside, 200, 400. It comes inside, it will not share 100 or 50, 50. Transistor that comes very big. That's how it works, that transistor. So that is the only thing you will see on the what the AI robot. And you cannot fix it until the robot is completely dead without recharge. And the AI ability of that robot have the ability or the capacity to recharge itself the moment it goes outside the house and the sun is shining. They are going to put a specific thing on the upgraded ones not to charge them again. Why walking? That exercise, that run they are running, it's recharging them. So when they are running out of battery, they will start running, start doing activities, they will get recharged. That's the advanced stage of it. That's the next version of Graden. Or if it's not possible, they will be able to recharge themselves. So you cannot say, I will leave them to die. Their battery to die, lie, lie. They will recharge themselves. If you refuse, they will go outside and stay for three hours, fully charged. So their programming system will not be in Africa. Their headquarters will still be in America. And that is why after all these things is said, the Lord said they will kill Elon Musk. <laughs> when they kill him, they will not corrupt his system and make it like a god. So you who is trying to control it cannot be able to touch that chips. As much as people cannot stab your heart, you won't allow them. That's how the robot or the robocopy <laughs> will not allow you to touch him. He will tell you, I'm a program that can be fixed by program, not by hardware. So these robots cannot be fixed by hardware, it's by a robot. They will only create their machine that can fix themselves by themselves. The human cannot be able to fix them. So they will create a machine that is a robot machine that will fix them. They have sense more than you. So leave Africa, leave them and their robot. Don't say you want to bring robot to Africa. If you like, you list it, no? If you don't like, you list it. That's all I can say. People are waiting for me. Hon agonagumo. Ebela de kachi honga. Agonagumo. Two six. Oya oya. Church door close. <laughs> Pack your Bible. Let's go. So I want to say God bless you. Support the foundation. So meet me one on one. I'm repeating it again. It's going to cost you two hundred dollars to see me one on one. If you like being in heaven, being in America, being in Nigeria, is two hundred dollars. But if you don't want to talk to me one on one, you want to chat, you will be patient until I reply you, because the money for the two hundred dollar, we are changing it to naira. We are using it for the ATB Foundation uh, for this back to the Easter giveaway, and we are also uh, giving in the back to school so i cannot be hitting my head in that aspect so you must be a partaker you said you want to give to the world if you have it start from the little you can support us with so god bless you and have a nice day check oh yeah